Alright everyone, uh, in this video lecture I am going to uh, talk about how to measure uh, AC, uh, how to measure AC voltage using PIC microcontroller. I have already posted uh, videos on uh, DC voltage measurement, DC current measurement and DC power measurement and uh, in my upcoming uh, videos I will also post about AC current measurement and AC power measurement but in this video I will only uh, talk about AC voltage uh, measurement using PIC microcontroller so let's start with uh, basic uh, terminologies which use for uh, uh, AC uh, voltage as you know AC voltage is in the form of uh, sine wave so let me draw it again <clears throat> so AC voltage is in the form of sine wave and in uh, in sine wave uh, this is the peak value of voltage and uh, there are a few terminologies in AC voltage first one is peak voltage Peak voltage uh, is uh, uh, basically a maximum value of sine wave this, uh, voltage at this point will be called peak voltage and uh, uh, another one is RMS voltage. So uh, if you want to measure peak voltage or RMS voltage uh, with the help of microcontroller so definitely you have to uh, measure either uh, a peak voltage or RMS voltage. As you know uh, if you represent v uh, peak voltage with VP and RMS voltage with VRMS so there is a relation between VP and RP. Uh, VRMS is equal to VP divided by under root 2 so either if we measure vp with the help of microcontroller or vrms we can calculate other so uh, we can easily uh, have measure peak voltage with the help of microcontroller so again uh, if we measure peak voltage with the help of microcontroller we can uh, uh, easily calculate rms with the help of this formula this can also be written as vp 0.007 vp multiplied by uh, 0.0 uh, 0 0.707 so uh, so the, no the point is how can we measure uh, peak voltage so uh, we, we are going to measure peak voltage and uh, we will calculate RMS voltage with the help of this formula as you know uh, microcontroller uh, can only measure uh, 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 can only measure positive voltages we cannot measure this negative voltage with the help of microcontroller so we can only uh, measure uh, positive voltage with the help of microcontroller uh, until and unless we have uh, specified uh, negative reference which we cannot uh, uh, use in the case of microcontroller. So we have to uh, develop a way in which we can, uh, con uh, we can convert this negative cycle into positive cycle or uh, uh, another thing which we have to measure is that is peak voltage. For example, we, if we are using this half wave this half wave if we measure peak voltage of this half wave we have no need to measure negative voltages and another thing because this peak voltage will tell us about the rms voltage and the uh, peak voltage will be same in case of either uh, positive voltage negative voltages or uh, positive voltages um, uh, 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 other than sign of uh, positive or negative voltages. There are many methods used uh, to measure uh, AC voltage with the help of microcontroller. Number one is uh, using step down transformer and second method is using difference amplifier. Difference amplifier. So uh, why are we using step down transformer or uh, difference amplifier because uh, if, we, if, we are, if uh, we are measuring 220 volt AC so 220 is RMS voltage if we, uh, if we uh, multiply it with 102 it will become 311 volt so peak voltage is 311 and microcontroller cannot measure voltages greater than 5 volt so we have to step down this voltage uh, to a value less than 5 volt so uh, either we can use 
स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफार्मर और डिफरेंस एम्पलीफायर इन केस ऑफ स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफार्मर वी यूजली यूज टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट टू ट्वेल्व वोल्ट स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफार्मर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी यूज अ रेक्टिफायर विच विल कन्वर्ट दिस नेगेटिव वेव इन टू पॉजिटिव वेव एंड आफ्टर दैट वी यूज वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बिकॉज ट्वेल्व वोल्ट इज स्टिल हाई सो वी यूज वोल्टेज डिवाइडर टू स्टेप डाउन दिस वोल्टेज फर्दर लेस देन फाइव वोल्ट सो दिस दिस इज मैथड यूज बाई मैनी पीपल एंड एंड मैनी वेबसाइट हैव गिवन दिस मैथड बट इन दिस मैथड आई विल फोकस ऑन डिफरेंस एम्पलीफायर मैथड एंड एंड दिस मैथड इज रेयरली अवेलेबल ऑन इंटरनेट एंड एंड दिस मैथड इज मोर चीप दैन ट्रांसफर दैन चीप इन प्राइज then uh, step down method because uh, you can purchase an amplifier in a very lower price than a transformer so uh, in in case of different amplifier you can uh, design a ac voltmeter with a very little price so uh, let's come to the uh, circuit diagram of uh, uh, different amplifier how can we step down this uh, 311 volt or 220 volt ac or 311 volt peak voltage with the help uh, with the help of different amplifier so this is the uh, circuit diagram of different amplifier we have connected a uh, uh, 220 volt supply here and uh, at this output we will get uh this kind of wave and i will come to it later how uh, this uh, how how this will uh, this uh, 220 volt wave will convert into this wave uh, first of all uh, as you know formula of difference amplifier uh, difference amplifier is uh, uh, what difference uh, difference if i do it will uh, simply step down 220 volt ac into uh, voltage less than 5 volt okay so uh, basically what uh, dif um, difference amplifier will do it uh, 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 simple uh, difference amplifier will use again with the help of these uh, resistors and uh, and uh, by using this uh, resistors we will we will use a uh, very low gain so that when we multiply this uh, gain with this input voltage we will get a very low output voltage basically formula of uh, uh, difference amplifier gain is uh, gain is equal to rf divided by r1 uh, so in as you can see this is our uh, uh, feedback resistor and basically this is rf and this is uh this is r1 so total value of r1 is uh, 1.2 uh, mega ohm plus 1.2 mega ohm plus 2.2 kilo ohm so uh, uh, in, so uh, over gain we can calculate uh, calculate uh, gain uh, of this difference amplifier with the help of this formula and the output voltage is equal to uh, voltage at this point will be equal to uh, gain multiply by v in okay so for example in this case we have uh, 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 in this case we have g is equal to uh, rf is equal to 22 and and r1 is equal to 1.2 m plus 1.2 m plus 2.2 uh, uh, sorry it is uh, 2.2 k so it will be equal to uh, a uh, value around 0.0991 so what will be the output at this point it will be equal to uh, uh, v out is equal to 0.0991 uh, multiply by 311 so so maximum voltage uh, will be appearing across this difference amplifier will be 311 because uh, this uh, 311 is the peak voltage of uh, this 220 volt so it will be equal to some kind of 2.8 volt you can may, uh, use uh, do the calculation yourself it will be equal to 2.83 uh, 01 volt so 2.8301 is uh, less than 5 volts so we can easily measure it with the help of microcontroller so but there is one more thing here we are using uh, offset this is called offset resistor and it uh, and we are connected 5 volt with the help of offset vo voltage why we are using it because uh, uh, if we uh, uh, 
at this point if we if we if we you not know, use uh, uh, this five volt at this point we will get uh, get a, a sine wave uh, this kind of sine wave and peak value of the sine wave will be 2.83 and, and this will be minus 2.83 but microcontroller cannot read a negative voltage or we cannot apply a negative voltage to the input of microcontroller so what we are doing we have added uh, with the help of this offset resistor we have added 5 volts to uh, uh, to both positive and negative cycle if we add 5 volt to this and 5 volt to negative cycle it will be a, a it will be equal to uh, it will be equal to uh, 7.83 peak voltage so peak voltage will be 7.83 and, and and similarly peak voltage in negative cycle will be 7 minus 7.83 so still we are getting a voltage uh, greater than 5 volt at this point but uh, 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 sorry it will not be equal to 7.83 it will be equal to uh, uh, minus 2.83 plus 5 it will be equal to some kind of uh, 1 point uh, uh, if we subtract these values it will be equal to 3. Uh, 2.17 volt so uh, by adding this 5 voltage uh, these uh, 5 volt uh, we uh, we have divided uh, uh, this negative voltage to pair cross uh, uh, microcontroller now we will get if we add this 5 volt now we will get this kind of wave at this point and this value will be equal to uh, uh, 7.83 and this value will be equal to 2.8 one eight seven basically we have added uh, a dc offset to our sine wave and it will uh, shift of, uh, shift our wave from negative part to the positive part so still we are getting a high voltages high voltage greater than 5 volt at positive side so what we have do we have uh, connected a uh, uh, voltage divider and this voltage divider will divide this voltage into two parts as you know the formula of voltage divider uh, is v naught is equal to v in multiply by r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so in uh, we are using two uh, 10k resistors and uh, so v in multiply by 10 divided by 10 plus 10 to it will be equal to v in divided by 2 so uh, uh, this these two 10k resistors will divide this voltage into two parts if you divide this by 2 so uh, we will be getting voltage less than 5 volt so it, at this point voltage will be less than 5 volt so we can e easily measure it with the help of microcontroller so now the wave which will appear across microcontroller will be it will start from uh, 2.17 uh, uh, and that it will be this kind of wave this voltage will be equal to 7.83 and it will start here at 2.1 7 so this uh, 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 this is the output of uh, a different amplifier we have divided it by 2 so it will be uh, it, so now it will be uh, if you divide this wave by 2 so we will get half uh, voltage half of this uh, voltage across the uh, microcontroller so we can uh, now measure this uh, voltage with the help of a microcontroller so simply what you will do you will connect uh, this pin to the microcontroller microcontroller ADC this is the ADC of microcontroller and this is the in out, uh, output of our uh, difference amplifier and you can uh, uh, you can measure this voltage with the help of microcontroller so uh, now the question is how can you measure peak voltage to measure peak voltage basically uh, you have to uh, uh, find a maximum value you can uh, use any kind of loop and uh, and uh, uh, in this loop you can measure for example thousand values of this uh, uh, this uh, uh, wave for example you can start adc and st start and uh, and keep reading adc value with the, with the, uh, for example 1 millisecond delay okay uh, it will be higher for example with the, uh, 1 microsecond delay so uh, microcontroller will read 
of uh, read adc uh, uh, read uh, this wave after one uh, after every one microsecond so uh, total time of uh, this wave is uh, basically 10 millisecond so 10 millisecond is equal to 10000 microsecond so if you read uh, if you for example if you read for uh, after every 10 microsecond to show, uh, so you will need thousand values you read this thousand uh, adc will read uh, ac voltage thousand times and and uh, and uh, comparing it with the maximum value basically you will uh, read uh, this adc values and store it into other variable and uh, uh, and uh, and keep comparing it uh, with the maximum value basically you have to find uh, develop a maximum value finding function so uh, in this way you can easily measure ac voltage with the help of microcontroller if you have any issue in programming you can go to my uh, uh, website in uh, microcontroller site black.com where i have written a complete article on uh, ac voltage measurement as you can see uh, here i have uh, written a complete article on ac voltage measurement using uh, 16 fa microcontroller i have also explain, i have explained all the steps uh, here i am explaining different simplifier and uh, this is the formula uh, of gain and uh, here uh, formula of gain and uh, uh, after that i am doing some calculations and uh, here is the result of uh, 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 219 volt you can make it 220 by adding uh, correction factor and similarly i have also given a code at the end of this article so you can can the basic can get a basic idea after reading this article and uh, i have also given uh, a link of uh, uh, link of uh, uh, link of this, this article in the description of my video uh, you can, if you have any question if you have any problem you can uh, simply click on the link which is given in the description of this video and uh, you can read my article uh, in, in next uh, in next articles i will uh, in next videos i will come with ac current measurement and ac power measurement so keep watching uh, my videos and, and don't for, uh, forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hopefully you will get more practical information uh, through my uh, through my uh, channel and also don't forget to visit my website microcontrollerslab.com uh, i usually write articles related to uh, microcontrollers and embedded system on my uh, website so keep visiting my blog thanks for watching this video uh, take care.